Hello YouTube, now today we're going to be using uh, Massive inside of FL Studio and I'm going to show you how to create an automation clip. Um, that's also mon um, changing the speed. Now, if you don't have Massive, visit the link in the description. There will be two links, one to uh, this on how to get it and the other one to a uh, favourite dubstep producer of mine, his name is Trist Tristam and he's really good. His song Pike for the Living is just exponential. So I'm just going to quickly create a, um, an, an 8 sequence beat. Um, you don't have to do this, but I'm just doing it so you can. So it's not just. Um, it's just what I can like. Okay, so we're just gonna rename this beat. So if you don't have these, I'll show you how to get these now. Pretty simple. Options, file settings, general, enable legacy block. You got me. Okay, right, so once you've got that, uh, you wanna go to the new pattern and you can rename it bass or whatever. Now, this bass isn't gonna be a Skrillex bass or anything like that, because it's just too hard to recreate. I mean, loads of people on YouTube have probably tried and they've got calls, but they haven't probably done it. Anyways, uh, first oscillator. Turn it on and change it to Screamer. Change the pitch to negative 12. Go to the first envelope and turn the second level, this one here, all the way up. Then go to the fifth LR4, drag this back, and then drag that into here, and then turn it down like that. Up there. It kind of looks like a comb over, like. Anyways, and then click this and click Classic Tube. And turn this up to the vault there. So that's all you gotta do. Make the noise. This is what it sounds like. Turn this up. Okay, so as you can hear, it just goes wow, wow, and it's pathetic. Right click and press piano roll. And create. Create a piano roll. That sounds good. Okay, so this is what it sounds like. Okay, so when you're doing this, make sure you've got a different pattern for each one. Okay, so input the bass, it will be like five seconds long, then input the beat to that. Like that. Then click on Massive and click this down arrow up here and click Make Edit a Thumbnail. Then click on this, go all the way down till you see Modulator Vibrate. Click it once, right click, and create automation clip. Then when you leave, it will be here in the playlist. So you can zoom in. So um, there's two ways you can do this. You can just Make it go up and down like this, and um, hit it out like this. This will sound shit, by the way, but I'll show you the way I normally do it. And it's probably the best way, definitely the easiest way. This is what it'll sound like. <laughs> Granted, that shit. Okay, right, so. What I do is um delete all I'm um, deleting all these but don't don't do that please. You ruin you ruin it, really. So delete all these and I'll go back to flat. Right click on the end one and press hold. Now you can make little squares. So the higher you go obviously the faster it will be. The lower you go the slower it will be. So I'm just going to create something really quick. And it probably won't sound any good either.
Um, I just try to level this off with the last height I'm going to use. That height. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I sound like. <laughs> And then you can, as long as you've got your base in here, and then you've got this pattern on here, yeah, you cannot go wrong. But you do not have one of these on here, and you think it's going to work, it's not. So make sure you always put that in. That'll sound. There, so that's how you do it. That's how you make a, a modulator envelope with massive, uh, that's to edit the speed so you can make your wobbles faster than the storage one. Thank you for watching. And like I said, links will be in the description on how to get massive and to Tristan's channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.